Now, when it comes to our schools, despite a pending lawsuit from the union representing school employees, the superintendent from Pasco County Schools says they are ready for students to return to the classroom next Monday. The district wants to be ready for any possible outbreaks that may occur. As 10 Tampa Bay's Bo Zimmer explains, they've come up with a unique plan to respond to possible cases quickly. Next Monday, more than half of Pasco County's nearly 75,000 students are expected to head back to Lando Lakes High School and the district's 95 other schools. Keeping track of all those students, teachers, and other staff members will be a huge job, especially when it comes to contact tracing if and when people start getting sick. They're not going to prevent uh, our kids or our faculty or staff from getting COVID. What our role is, is to minimize that exposure. To coordinate the massive effort, Pasco Schools is creating a first of its kind COVID command center with the Florida Department of Health. We're doing something kind of novel. Uh, I don't think any other school district has done it. 11 members of the county health department will work side by side with school district staff in this building directly behind the main district office. We want to have them all in one place. That way they can end up making decisions try to make decisions on the split second on the fly if need be. A health department hotline will also be set up so school employees and parents can make immediate contact at the first signs of anyone getting sick. And we want to make sure that everyone is getting the information that they need because then that'll help down with some of the fear. And we also want to try to end up giving a consistent message going out. If we can have immediate access to folks that know what they're talking about and they can provide consistent guidance to us. I think it would be good for the district. It'll be good for our employees and our, our families. So what happens if one of your child's classmates gets sick? Well, in Pasco County specifically, an automated phone message will be sent out from the principal to parents from the entire school. Parents with students at risk for a direct exposure, they will get a second call and be given the hotline number to the command, the COVID command center with additional information on if their child needs to stay home or if they need to be tested. That's important info right there.